So here's another how to install video for the terrain mixer. I do this every now and then because the terrain mixer gets updates uh, rather often. More of a new set of tools than updates. Some users uh, might get confused, you know, uh, what goes where. So here we are on the Gumroad uh, products page for the terrain mixer. I will uh, start this process from the beginning. I'm gonna get the uh, everything option and click I want this. I'm going to go to terrain mixer, everything view content, and then I'm going to download all of this. So let's let's go. The reason why I'm doing this, why I'm downloading all of these uh, three and a half gig files, uh, is just so you see that the thing is working. You know, so if you get stuck, if something doesn't work, it is probably because of the wrong setup. So we'll go through this uh, from the very beginning. You don't have to download everything, but the one thing that you do have to download is this directory named Terrain Mixer, and then you have this number here. And the number is uh, related to the date of the upload or the update of the tool. So, okay, I think I have started the download process for all the assets, and then we'll continue. While it's still downloading, I will open uh, Blender 4.0.1. Although it says that the Terrain Mixer supports Blender 3.6.2, it will work in the latest build. So let's launch it. And here, inside the Edit menu, there's Preferences. And when the Preferences window opens, uh, you go to the file path. You see here, I have assets directory set here. The path is what it is, but I'm going to remove this path and I'm going to set it again, just so you can see the process. This is in my custom folder, but I'm, I'm going to place all the files where the default assets directory for Blender is, just so you can see that it works. It doesn't matter where you store it. The most important thing that the path is set properly and that the directory structure is correct. So let me delete this. Okay, so now we have downloaded uh, all the files and we will unpack them. So select all, select, go here and choose extract here. This is very important. And the process will start. Now on the right side is where I'm going to place those assets. It is the default path to Blender assets. Now if I go inside, you will see I already have terrain mixer and the assets and some of it here, but I will delete this. Okay, so it's gone. We're gonna place these here. And the way we're gonna place it is also very important. Uh, well, this is uh, still unpacking. Uh, I just want to uh, let you know that if you want to use the original Terrain Mixer file and Terrain Mixer GN file, you need to follow uh, these steps for setting the uh, hierarchy. It is not so important if you just want to use TMNT. I don't know if I did a mistake here or not. I don't think it will matter. Because uh, TMNT, this is just, uh, these are just assets and they're not in any way related to Terrain Mixer or Terrain Mixer GN Blender files. You can use them in any Blender scene. But of course, you still have to set the right path to them. Okay, so now that everything is unpacked, I can go here and delete all these. We don't need them. And now, first step, maybe the most important step, is to drag this here. If you open it, you will see what's inside. Then I'll open the assets directory, and this is what I have inside. Okay, now you see that there are already height maps, erosion packs. Those contain really large files, and this is why you don't get them in one zipped document or directory because you have to place them inside. Let's start with the uh, height maps 16K. This is what goes inside, these three and this one. I can delete this because it's the root folder and we have already placed it on this side. So then we go back. I can take this one, this one, this one, this one, this one and this one this one and this one and place them here and the last step we're going to go to inside the erosion packs and inside the canyon we're going to place this k 
canyon and inside the mountains directory we're going to place this i'm going to go to the assets directory copy full path go inside blender add path here and add assets library and that's done so now we're inside blender i'm going to drag a new window go to the asset browser and you see all the assets are here and they are properly categorized you see if i check tmnt you will see that they are in their categories and also terrain mixer assets are here so let's do a quick test We'll leave this open here. Before we do anything, I'm gonna press N, go to view, set the clipping start to one. Uh, don't leave it low like this because you will see some artifacts on your terrain. So make it at least 0.5 or one. And I usually just type a million here. Have in mind that these settings are for the viewport, not for the camera. You can do the same for the camera here. Okay, I can close this by pressing N, select the cube, Press tab, go here, TMNT, terrain tool, 2000 meters. And then you have your terrain here. Exit, now I'm going to open a new window and choose geometry nodes editor, just so I can see what is going on. I can close this by pressing T. And now I'm going to drag this. I can drag it here on the terrain and I get this. If it happens that you don't see the result and the result should be this kind of a wavy noisy surface, then you have missed a step. And the important step for this particular operation is while you're in the, in the edit mode, you have to go to the UV unwrap, you see? Okay, now let's press T again and let's go to the terrain notes. So we'll pick this first one here and place it here. And then we're gonna reconnect this noodle to the UV map socket and the vector to the value. And this is what you get. Specifically regarding terrain uh, mixer node tools, TMNT, uh, you can also start with uh, one of the terrain objects. So, for example, this one. And as you can see, they're using the same modifier. So, to change it, just you know, make it unique by hitting this or you can go and choose this one. You have a separate uh, playlist uh, that covers the usage of this. Now, let's also test if uh, the original terrain mixer works. So let's go to documents. Where is it? Blender, assets, terrain mixer. We have these two. Now let's start with the terrain mixer. Open it. Go to the 3D uh, to the 3D view. Let's add uh, let's add the viewport shading. So we see it works. And now let's open the GN version. See, it's here. Test it a bit. It works. Okay, that's it for now. Cheers.